So, the king is here. No, I'm joking. Welcome to another video today. I'll be reviewing Club Mac. I've got my pointers written down, things you need to know and you don't need to know. When I tried looking for videos, when we was on the way out there, things we could do, prices and things like that, there was nothing on there. So I'm going to get straight into this. First thing we noticed, once we landed at Palm, Palm, is it Palma or something, airport anyway, the transfers from the airport to the hotel, right? When I looked on my phone, on Google Maps, it said 45 minutes to Club Mac from our current location. The hotel bus took over three hours because we was the last drop. So be prepared that you will be the last drop if you're at Club Mac. That's that. The worst thing about this whole entire week we've had, which is, it can be avoided, but not as it can't be completely wiped out, if you know what I mean, is mosquito bites. I've got one up here somewhere, a couple on my hands. I've got them all over my legs, but I can't, obviously I'm wearing jeans, so I can't show you, but look, I'm still itching now. And it's absolutely horrible. There was a, a young lady who put on one of the Facebook pages at Club Mac that her son got bit in the face on the first day, like 18 times. Just ruins your holiday and stuff like that. So that's that. Another one, the food. Right, the food. You can't complain. Food, the food's got everything. If you need something, it's there. Kids, fussy eaters, whatever else. The only thing that upset me is at breakfast time, I understand it though, but at breakfast time, you couldn't get like fizzy pop. And I'm a big guy, so I need a fizzy pop. And uh, what else? If you miss your, I think it's if you miss your dinner, which is like one to half three or something like that. If you miss that, because you're busy doing whatever, you can go to where the lake is and there's like your burger place where you can get burgers, chicken burgers, hot dogs. If you see my previous video, you know what I'm on about. I'm still itching now from the mosquito. Can you see that one? Jesus. Anyway, so food's good. If you miss it, you can go to the, the lake. That's where all the mosquitoes are. So I'd avoid that if possible, but it is what it is. Another pointer is we went, well, we come back yes, well, come back yesterday, but on the week we went, we thought everyone would be back at school in the UK. Turned out, I don't think people care about stuff like that. So everybody was there. There was hundreds and hundreds of people there. So it was busy all the time. So that was another bad point. Well, so we've got to write it down on here, right? We've got parks, so like parks outside of the Hydro Park and outside of Club Max, so say on one of our videos, we went to Marineland. That was like an hour and 45 minutes. That's a lie, sorry, an hour and 15 minutes on a coach. Rammed, hot as hell. You have to wear the mask, obviously, over in Spain on the public transport, so that was another nightmare. There was, uh, from Marineland, I think it was five miles to the left, or five minutes to the left, I can't remember what it was, it was a big sign. If you watch the previous video, like I say, you'll see. But it said there's another water park or another two water parks there. So, yeah, again, you'd have to go another hour and 20 minutes from Club Max to get to another water park. But the Hydro Park's just insane. Like, it's it's amazing. So when we went to the Hydro Park, the Hydro Park, when you go there, you've got to pay for your sunbeds. Your sunbeds were €4.50 Euros 50 cents for the day. So obviously the me and the missus, it was nine euros every day we went to the park, which is all right. We had one bad thing happen there, which is on the last time we went, we left Alvi, our six month old son's swimming uh, suit over the sunbed. And there was three of our other family members laid on the sunbeds, but obviously asleep, you know, getting a tan. And somebody come past and stole it. it is what it is, it happens. Not everywhere you go is nice people. But anyway, so how do you park? It is really, really expensive in there for food. Like we got a Oreo ice cream. In the UK, you're looking about a pound. And if you go to somewhere expensive over here and get one, it's probably about one pound 50. Over there, it was four and a half euros for an ice cream. You, you, and if you have two of you buying, that's nearly 10 euros for an ice cream. Bottle of pop in the, or bottle of fizzy pop in the Hydro Park was three euros 50. Uh, hot dogs or burgers and chips are nearly 15 euros. It's just the best thing to do because Club Mac is here and the Hydro Park is across the road, it's literally like me walking from here to that door, give or take. So the best thing to do is go in there all day, pay for your sunbeds, whatever else, 
And then when you're hungry, come out, go back to the hotel, which is like a two minute walk, go in there, eat your dinner and go back to your sunbed, which is the hydro park. <clears throat> That's the point I've got. Prices, we've done that. Right, what have we got? Right, card. This card. This is your Club Mac room key. All you do, it's like a contactless thing, like you do a pay for your bank and you just scan that and the door will open. They give you two of these. One of them is to get in and out of the door. The other one, as soon as you walk through the door, there's like a black metal thing on the on the door and you put the key card in it and that allows the electricity to come on. So if the card's not in, none of the lights or the telly or anything will work. So you keep. So what we used to do is keep one card always in there so the aircon was always on. Make sure they would, uh, the sliding door to the balcony was shut because the slide door to the balcony, if that's open, the aircon turns off, even if the card's still in. So we, had to, we were thinking, why has the aircon gone off? Do you know what I mean? And then we realised if the door's shut, there's like a little click thing. When it clicks, it, all the electric comes back up. Well, sorry, the aircon comes back up. So yeah, this is the key card to the door and to the electric thing. And this one was, they took the other two offers actually, and this one was actually given to me for the luggage room when we left. So we put our luggage in and I forgot to hand it back in. So Club Mac, if you're watching, I apologise. I'll ship this to you in 45 working days. Next, when we first arrived as well, after the transfers, three and a half hours in the knackered, we set off early, so we thought we'd have a full day, but most of the day was gone traveling. They give us a black wristband and this is on the top of it. So like, you got a black wristband, you imagine that's on there and it's on the whole time you're on holiday, yeah? So when you go for your dinner or anything, you scan that. When you go to the hydro park, there's a thing, you scan it, contact us, it lets you through so they know you're all inclusive, if you are all inclusive, vice versa. Uh, another bad thing we noticed, the sunbeds at the beach, for example, the main beach in Alberia, that you get your bus from Club Mac just outside, I can't remember what number it is, but anyway, it says bus on the top of it, it's to the beach, you know. I think it's every 15 minutes or every half an hour it runs and it takes like 10 minutes to get there. You could walk in 20 minutes, so it's not even that bad if you miss the bus. However, the prices of the sunbeds on the beach was, I'll go over it down here, for two, it was 13 euros for the day, or for how long you use it for. But you got an umbrella, like one of them um, straw umbrellas, you know what I mean, made out of straw, or hay, whatever you want to call it. You got sunbed, right. People selling stuff on the beach. Pineapple, pineapple, coconut, all that crap. Yeah, it's fair enough. They've got to make a living. You tell them no, every two minutes to walk in past. We was getting a little man to sleep because it was red out and he was going to sleep in his pram. Every two minutes to walk past and wake him up shouting it. And then you get the lucky, lucky people, we call them, outside Club Mac trying to sell the knockoff Michael Kors, Gucci, Calvin Klein hats, bags, lasers. That was another bad thing as well. Selling the kids lasers and all night these kids are lasering at your windows and stuff like that. Crazy. And even shut it in my son's eye like and it was a bit of a nightmare, but it is what it is. You get a lot of people there, like your chavs then we'll call them from the UK, who go there and I actually once saw one of these selling people talk to him, walk off down the bottom of the road and hand him drugs. So the smell of weed was around and obviously the, the lads from the UK have got it from these people. So if you are into that sort of stuff, don't use this video as information of where to get it from. Just don't do it. What else have we got? On topic. There's a bar called Muddy's. Everyone hypes about and it's really good steak and everything else. And I agree, it's really, really good. Uh, prices, like I said, it's the usual, usual stuff. It is really expensive over there. If you don't get it from... Uh, the main, like, if you get it from parks and out and about at the shops or whatever, it's quite expensive. But if you come out of Club Mac where you got dropped off, turn right, the road is about 70 yards down. There's a spa shop on the corner. Everything in there is normal price, like it would be in the UK. So, for example, a pound, a euro, whatever you want to call it, for a can, euro 20 for a, a bottle of pop. Yeah, so like a euro for a can, pound 20 for a bottle of pop. So it's better to go to the spa shop. The hotel, the ho yeah, the, sorry, the hotel shop isn't that bad in prices, but the vending machines, it would be like a Twix for two and a half euros. Or if you went into the shop, the Twix was one pound, uh, one euro 30, sorry. So it was easier to go to the shop than the vending machine. So if you want a drink from the vending machine next to the elevators, don't and just walk two more minutes to the shop and it's cheaper. 
Other things I found with a six month old, it's too hot, hard to cool him down over there. So just bear this all in mind. Not every, um, obviously your room has aircon, but not every like lobby in the hotel or every restaurant, everything like that has aircon. So just bear that in mind, it just get red hot. Moving on to things like, these are for more of your parents then. So your bottles, for example, if you've got a newborn, you have to sterilize your bottles. Everyone knows that. How we did it was use the microwave downstairs. We didn't have a microwave in our room, we had it downstairs in, in the uh, lobby part. We, where did we stay? We stayed in Jupiter. So downstairs in the Jupiter part of the hotel was floor eight. We used the microwave there every night and sterilized the bottles that way. You can get, you can, well, you can hire a sterilizer. It's 15 euros for the whole time you're there. We probably should have done it. We didn't see it till late though, so we didn't get one. one. Um, another thing about the water park, if you have floats, so for example, Alvi has to go in a float to be able to go in the water, unless we hold him the whole time. We put it in the first time, <whistles> guy blew his whistle, I was like, what's this guy doing? I looked at him and said, you right, buddy? He's like, no float, no float, no float. It's like, no floats? What do you mean? It was in a pool, kiddie's pool. No, so in the hydro part, there's no point taking your lilos, your rubber rings, whatever else these kids take, sharks that they ride on, take it to the beach, fair enough, or to the hotel swimming pool, but you can't take it in the hydro park. So just letting you know in case. And to me, I don't know how you feel unless you don't want to go out or whatever and you want to sit and drink all the inclusive food. We never went in the Club Mac pools. But every day we wanted to go in the water. If we wanted the beach, we go to the hydro parks. It was better. So that's that. Um, for example, as well with a baby, if we took Cow and Gate, the big tub of milk, if you know what I mean, in the UK. Obviously, people watching this hopefully are from the UK. but um, And I ran out. So I was trying to find ready-made milk, if you guess what, if you know what I mean. And I found this, and obviously we didn't. We bought three of these, and we only used one, I think. So I brought, I've got this one. I got this from a chemist. So if you do run out of milk, you can get the powder or the liquid. That's good once it's open for twelve hours. Just tip it in, give them a drink, happy days. What have we got next? You sell milk. Oh, this is a big thing. We got to reception when we arrived to obviously check in and do whatever else. And they was telling us that this is a fee to pay. Now, me being me, I've paid for my holiday. I don't understand what you mean by this fee. She explained that something to do with out of EU or whatever it is, and you've got a fee, which is, I think it was like three or four euros per person per day. So I as well, I think, I, or something something along those lines, it might even be cheaper than that, it might be like a euro, 52 euros. It cost me about 40 euros for the two of us. So I had to pay that before they give me the card before I checked in, which is, I, I didn't understand it, but it is what it is, it happens, deal with it. Now, if you're a smoker, for example, me, I'm a big smoker, I'm not encouraging it, so YouTube don't take this down. There's plenty of places to smoke, obviously you can't smoke in your room, which is right, that's how it should be. Uh, you can't smoke in obviously restaurants, places like that. But there's plenty of bins outside all on the hotel, which is a good thing. Uh, like I said, the food is excellent. But yeah, I don't really know what else I can tell you. Mosquito bites for me, personally, not everybody. So it's just my opinion and the missus' opinion. She's not obviously in the video, but she said this. Our opinion is it's not our type of holiday. To me, it's Butlins abroad. And Butlins, at my age, and even with kids, it's not the best thing to do, is it? But yeah, any more questions off topics I haven't talked about on here? Make sure to leave them in the comment section, drop us a like and subscribe if you're new. And let's carry on these vlogs. Love you all. Peace.